Hi, and welcome to Code Tutorials. In this video, we'll show you how to add image titles and alt text in WordPress. Now, let's take a look at what alt text and image title actually are. Alt text, or alternative text, is an HTML attribute that we add to an image tag. When the image itself cannot be displayed or cannot be found, alt text provides information on what the image represents. So, when an image isn't displayed for whatever reason, the image container shows the alt text to users so they know what they're missing. Image title is basically the name of your image. The image title is displayed when a user hovers their mouse over an image. So, the image is still visible and users can see this piece of meta information when everything works properly. Now, let's take a look at how to add image titles and alt text to your WordPress website. So, arm yourself with a bit of patience and head over to your dashboard. And open Media, then Library. All the images you have ever added to your website will be here. Select the image you want to add metadata to. I'm going to use this one. When you click on any of the images, the appropriate metadata fields will show here on the right. The first field is the one you need to use to add your alt text. For mine, I'll add image of a girl smiling. Then below that, we have the title field. I'm going to call this image Client1. Then, if you want to, in addition to alt text and title, you can also add a caption and a description for your image. Just use the fields below. When you finish adding all the information you need, you can save the changes. Then, you can repeat this process for all the images in your media library until they all have helpful metadata. Of course, you don't have to wait until you have a decent media collection in your library. You can also add alt text and title as you're inserting an image to a post or page. When you go to add an image using your preferred page builder, be it Elementor or WP Bakery or something else entirely, there's going to be an image element or block to help you with it. So when you click to add, this will open the WordPress media library, so you can pick which image you actually want to add. If you're adding a brand new image, you can upload one here. And if you're simply adding one that's already in the library, you need to click on it to select. In either case, you will be able to set its metadata here on the right, in the Attachment Details panel. Just make sure the right image has the blue tick mark so you don't end up calling this girl a vegetable garden or a view of the horizon. And don't forget to save changes at the end. There is another option for those of you using the classic editor. You can add metadata to an image directly using the editor options. Just click on the image you want to open up the options. From there, the little pencil represents the edit option, so click on that. This will open the fields for adding the alt text and caption. And below that, under advanced options, there is a field to set up an image title too. However, if you're using Gutenberg and you want to add metadata to your older images, you can do it using the media library. It's the same process we've seen earlier, or you can do it within the block itself. However, you should know when you select the image to use the block options, you will only get the alt text field here and not the image title. For that one, you can go to the media library. So, so to change the image title directly from the page, you need to click on the image block to select it. Then open the replace option here and select the media library from the menu. It will open these familiar attachment details options to the right of the image. Then you can simply add the title. There is another way of adding metadata and it involves using a plugin. Sometimes adding alt text and titles to previously uploaded images is just too much work. If this is the case with you, then you can install a plugin called Image Attributes. This plugin works by using your image file name to generate metadata completely automatically. After installing the plugin, you will be able to find its options by going to your dashboard and accessing Settings, then Image Attributes. This is where you'll find the global switch for enabling or disabling this plugin and its effects. Besides that, you also have general settings so you can pick if the plugin should automatically set titles, captions, descriptions, alt text, or all of the above when it comes to new uploads. 
and you can use the filter settings to decide that the plugin should remove certain characters from image file names such as hyphens or underscores or full stops. Underneath all that, you have the box saying insert image title into post HTML, which you need to tick. Once you've selected which options suit you best, you can start adding new images. Keep in mind these settings only apply to new uploads. So, for example, when you add a new image, you get automatically pre-filled metadata fields, as you can see here. Of course, when you have this view, you can change or delete anything from any of these fields directly, if the provided metadata suggestions don't work for you. This plugin also has a bulk updater segment. That's the part that allows you to update all the images in your media library in one. It generates and adds metadata to each image. But if you opt to use this option, we suggest you make a database backup first, just in case. And that's it! Thank you for watching! We hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you like to learn more about WordPress, feel free to follow us on any of our social media channels.